with 16 countries and six events. And now we're down to just two more runs on the Quadrilla course and just a handful of countries with an opportunity to win this Marble Run tournament. And with that, we say hello again, friends. I'm Keanu Bittersiki. Glad to have you here for event number five of the Quadrilla Marble Run tournament here on Marble Fubica. See our large viewing section for today's tournament as we turn our attention to the pitch. This is Marble Soccer. You have the overall standings on your screen now. It is Portugal's tournament and championship to lose. They're up by six points of both Canada and Brazil. 12 points back to Argentina. Those are the real contenders now for the championship. If you think you know who's a contender and who might win today's event, don't forget to download the Hoppe Quadrilla app and make your picks for today's event winner for your chance to win from Hoppe Toys. And with that, we welcome you to the Hoppe Quadrilla Marble Run Tournament on Marble Fubica. This is event number five. It's Marble Soccer. As you have a look at our bracket here on the left side, your groupings, A, B, C, and D, as they have been throughout this entire tournament. We'll begin with Group A. It's the Netherlands, Mexico, the UK, and Brazil. Brazil are defending winner. They won event for them before, and they are in this potentially as a championship contender. Right now, they're leading the group. They're going to make their way down this large course, down onto the soccer field, attempt to score some goals. In advance, the UK makes a pass here, leading Brazil. And it's the Netherlands and Mexico going back to on the course. There's a goal. It's the UK scoring first. Will we get another? The answer is no, and it'll come down to a tiebreaker. The UK is through, as is Brazil. They were first onto the field, and so they win that tiebreaker. That's the way the tiebreakers work here for soccer. It'll go by time that it took you to touch the field. So they were the first one down. You see a quick goal there from the UK. And really no chance for Mexico or uh, the Netherlands. They just didn't really have it there. Let's have another look straight on here. And it looks like a few opportunities, as you see a couple of times, that Brazil makes contact with that middle fidget spinner. Missed it on that last try, and that's what cost them. But they're still through. It is the UK and Brazil. Brazil won the last event, as we said. One of four different event winners through four events. See this aerial view of the large course for today's event as we move into Group B. And again, two more marbles and their teams, those countries advancing into the semifinals. Group B on your screen, it's China, Argentina, Spain, and Indonesia. China's in the lead right now, Argentina fourth in the championship standings, Indonesia and Spain. This is a grouping that hasn't produced a lot of all-stars, but certainly Argentina has been very consistent, and now they are trailing just China. Now Argentina makes the pass there in the lead, and they've got a little bit of room to work here, but look at Indonesia for a moment, looking like they had a chance. First down is Argentina, and it doesn't look like they're going to go. Oh, maybe we will at the last moment. China got a fall, and China advances. They had the slowest time. And so that goal is going to allow them to advance. Argentina is in on time. Wow, how close that gets at the end as you have a look at the replay. You can see nowhere near the rest of the grouping was China, so they have to score that goal, and they just got it done. Off the side of the goalpost there, and then it just spun its way over and over and over again, and eventually... It's going to fall and advance China into the second round here. Waiting, waiting, waiting. And finally, here it comes. And there is your goal for China to advance them into the next round. So they're into the semifinals. They will join the UK and Brazil, Argentina yet again. Moving past this first round, they've been extremely consistent. Here's Group C. And a couple of the favorites, Switzerland and Germany. And then you've got the United States and Portugal. Portugal, a six-point lead, as we said, over Canada. And then also Brazil there. Right now it is Germany in the lead, followed by the United States. They're in sixth right now, the winner of the first event. Struggling a little bit. They're in the lead here. And right now Portugal's in trouble. They're going to have to score a goal here. There's a goal for the U.S. I believe we just got a goal for Switzerland as well. We do. Portugal is knocked down in the first round. As is Germany. After two goals, our first 
matchup here in which multiple countries have scored a goal. The U.S. will take the first spot there. They scored it before anybody else even hit the bottom. How about that? From the United States, dominant. And the same can be said for Switzerland. It was over before Germany or Portugal even touched the course. As both of the first two score there. And did it quickly. And so therefore an easy win for the United States. And an easy advancement for Switzerland. Nearly a goal there for Portugal. It didn't matter at that point. It didn't matter, as I said, before they even hit the uh, bottom of the course there. Switzerland and the United States advancing from Group C. And this brings us to Group D, including Canada. A lot of momentum, I think, for Canada. They have placed very well trying to finish off the sweep of the North American countries winning events. They've won three, or excuse me, two out of the four. Right now, Canada running last out of this grouping. It really does matter when you hit the bottom because you need to do it quickly in case of a tiebreaker. Right now, France, India, Italy, Canada. That's the running order right now as they make their way closer and closer toward that final portion of the course. And down first, it is India. Will anybody score? There's a goal. There's another. And that's going to be our two advancers. Give it to Canada. Give it to France. They're in to the semifinals, India and Italy. End up right next to each other in the corner, and they are headed home. Yeah, India just got a bad bounce there. Canada didn't have a great run either, but they had enough speed on it to be able to recover a couple of times. In fact, they assisted the goal there. And then eventually knocked it in themselves to advance into the next round. So quite a bit of teamwork there, it seemed, from the two teams to advance that time. That is, of course, Canada and France. They're into the semifinals from Group B, and we have the results. 9th through 16th, Portugal does not score a point. A devastating blow for the points leaders. They're up by just six points. They are likely, in fact, not even likely, they are not going to be the points leaders once this event ends. They'll have to come from behind in the final event. First semifinal, Argentina, China, the UK, and Brazil. If it's Argentina or Brazil, we are in for a doozy at the end of this event. Right now, Argentina is in the lead. They're followed right behind by Brazil. Then the UK and China. China a little bit further behind right now. It's a seemingly pretty big lead for Argentina. Let's see if they can continue that. They do, but they lost a little bit of time there. First down is going to be Argentina. Bad run. There's a goal for Brazil. There's a goal for the UK. Argentina is not going to advance. China is out as well. Brazil and the United Kingdom into the final. And again, the UK will go the distance. They have been so good at making it to the end. They just haven't meddled at all. They'll try to again change that here. No chance. Perfectly done by Brazil. And another perfect run by the UK. Got the bounce off the side of the goalpost and seemed there. And that was that. Ending the tournament of Argentina and China. From the UK and Brazil into the final. Who will they be joined by? As it will be two out of the four teams from semifinal B. They are representing Europe and North America. The US, France, Switzerland, and Canada. Canada right now in a prime position to get into a good spot in the championship run. The U.S. trying to get back in it. They're all very close right now as they make their way down that second funnel. Split off now two and two. It's going to move Switzerland into the lead, followed by France. Now France takes a pass. Down the Plinko board they go. France is in the lead. They're going to be followed by Switzerland, then the United States, then Canada. Switzerland scores the goal. France is going to get in by default. And the U.S. and Canada both eliminated in the semifinals. So France gets down first. That advances them into the final. The only goal with an assist from France, it goes to Switzerland. France got an assist from Canada in the previous run to score their goal. Now they help out their opponent there. They're the results fifth through eighth. Argentina takes fifth. China, the United States, and Canada rounding out that group who was eliminated there in the semifinals and bringing us down to our final of event number five. Brazil, the United Kingdom, Switzerland, and France. 
Brazil trying to become the first two-time winner, trying to win it for a second time in a row. Everybody else trying to win their first event and make it five different winners in five tries. First through is France. And the UK looked like they were going to be in the lead. They turn out to be fourth. It's France and then Brazil, and then a big gap between Switzerland and the United Kingdom. Can they catch up? The answer looks like it's yes. Three go to the left side, just one to the right. Brazil nearly made the pass for the lead, but it's still France down the Plinko board. He's going to get to the bottom first. France is going to score. They're through. France takes the gold. Silver for Switzerland. Brazil takes bronze. And again, the United Kingdom falls just shy of a medal, as it looks like... They just never got anything going. France was the first one to the bottom, so they're going to get the goal. They were the first to score the goal, as you can see on the replay here. In fact, they did they get it before? No, nope, just after Switzerland hit the bottom. Three teams score goals. That's the, the most in this event. There is Switzerland just scoring before Brazil, but again, it goes based off of time there. And who was the, to the bottom first? So that is the difference between a silver and a bronze for those two teams. But it is France that gets the win. They become our fifth different winner in five events. And set us up for a fascinating finale. In the Marble Fubica Quadrilla Marble Run Tournament presented by Hoppe Toys. Hope that you had a chance to win by downloading the Quadrilla app and making your picks for the winners. There are the results from the event based on times from each round. Here are the overall standings now, and we have a new leader. It is Brazil, and they will take a seven-point advantage into the final matchup over Canada. Portugal again picked up no points. They dropped two spots to third with 56 points, and within 10 is Argentina. They are in fourth. France drops, or excuse me, jumps to fifth uh, in a tie with Switzerland. The United States drops back to seventh, and the UK is an eighth despite making it to the final multiple times. They just can't quite get it done. And again, they miss out on having this final shot where we show you the podium. Third place for Brazil, they get the bronze. They also take over the lead in the overall championship standings. That's what you want. Second place to Switzerland, but today they all aspire to be France. They take the gold with a goal and a time of 22.342. Congratulations to the French. They get the win and they open up maybe Maybe, just maybe, a window at a championship as we get into our final event and the final opportunity for these teams to make their case. Portugal scores nothing in the final matchup, and so now they will have to come from behind. Brazil, with a strong couple of events, are now the favorites and the front runners. And don't forget about Canada. Failed to make the final this time, and it may have cost them. But really, it is a handful that we're just going to jumble up and see what happens in the final event of the Quadrilla Marble Run Tournament right here on Marble Fubica, presented by Hoppe Toys. Until uh, next time, I'm Keanu Bitterzicki, and thanks for watching.